car's garage. In this video, I'm going to install some brass outer portal housings. But before we start, let's measure the side hill angle and see what we have to start with. Looks like we're measuring about 34 degrees. All right, I got these outer portal housings for, off of Amazon for about 30 bucks. Uh, the advertised weight is 65 grams, but when I measure them, with the screws, I get 124, so if you divide that by two, it's not 65 grams a piece. It's quite a bit less, um, but no big deal. We're still gonna install them. We're at 62 grams a piece, including the screws. Uh, for the other set, I believe it was the same thing. So let's get to installing them. And in order to complete this job, you're gonna need an Allen wrench, a pick, and your wheel wrench. All right, so we're gonna start in the front. And first thing you gotta do is take off this black cap to access the wheel nut. Take your wheel nut tool and unscrew the nut. Pop the wheel off. Next, you're gonna have to take off the hex. Pop it off. Careful to not lose your pin. Then you're gonna take your Allen wrench and take off, I believe it's six screws. There's one here and there. Now the whole housing can come off. All right, with the housing off, you'll see that this little stub axle is still in there. All you gotta do is push it out. And then you have two bearings in there that you gotta take out. All right, so I'm gonna take these tweezers and just push down on the edge of the bearing and it should pop right out. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna use an O-ring pick, try to get out the second bearing. There you go. Now all I'm gonna do is wipe down the bearings, make sure there's no dirt on them, and then reinstall them into the new brass 
outer portal housings. So a small bearing goes on top. You just line it up and push down. It went in pretty easy. And then the larger one, just line that up and push to install that. And that's pretty much it. Now you can install the little stub axle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of grease a little bit of grease and hopefully that bit of grease will quiet down the truck now, just line it up. And then use the provided screws that came with the portal housings to reinstall, because they are a bit longer. All right, the outer portal housing is installed. Now we can reinstall the wheel. All right, and we're done with the first one. Let's move on to the next side. All right, we're at the next side in the front. Same thing. All right, we're done with the front. Let's move on to the rear. All right, we're at the rear and let's get started. 
Take off the black cap. Put the wheel nut. Take off the wheel. Take off the wheel hex. Take the pin out. Now you have access to the cover. Again, there's gonna be six screws located in the same spot. With the screws out, just pop off the cover. And then same thing, you're gonna push out the stub axle. And this time, looks like the bearing kind of popped out for us. Let's take the bearing out. And the smaller bearing, use a pick and get it out. Wipe down the bearings, make sure there's no dirt. And then reinstall into the new outer portal housings. Then reinstall the stub axle. Add a little bit of grease. And then reinstall and then use the hardware included in the kit to screw it back on. All right, now reinstall the hex. Reinstall the wheel. And the wheel nut. And finally the black cat. All right, we're done with this side and the rear. Let's move on to the other side. Here we are on the other side. Let's get this wheel off and put the portal housing on.
and we're done. So let's go measure what gains we've made. Here we are after the installation of the brass outer portal housings, and we're gonna measure the side hill angle and see what we've been able to achieve. Looks like we're at 36 degrees. Alright, so we know that the Red Cat Gen 8 has a pretty heavy body, so with the addition of the brass portal housings, uh, we saw a pretty good increase while out on the trail. Some of the features that I would normally flip over or topple over, uh, I've been able to do now. Uh, and also, not just the features that I showed the before and after, but other features on that trail as well. So I think it's a very much needed upgrade and for the price you can't beat it. Thanks for watching. Please check out the next video where I install a roof rack.